Hey, the YouTube is going to 73 making another episode of Knife Talk, and this too is a N8M knife request. This is the one about rust prevention in the terms of maintenance. Now, most people who watch my channel know I have a major rust problem with knives. I even made a video a while back titled like Rust My Enemy dot 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 rust. You know, basically the rust that I have isn't like technically rust in a sense. I would consider it corrosion, not really rust. Rust to me is when you have heavy you know, um, iron oxide on the blade, you know, it's like red, it's dark, if you were to touch, like rub, like that on the blade, it comes off and it's red on your finger, I don't have that problem, you know, like here's my K-Bar 12, not 1217, what number is this, it's the 5012, I guess, according to the box, but you can see the edge on there is, I'd definitely say it's patinaed, Let's see if I can get that to focus, uh, focus. Uh, it's not going to. But you can see it's not very shiny. You can tell it's sort of darkened. I'm just going to hold it like that and see if I can get it to. There we go. So you can see on there that, um, you know, it's sort of darker. You know? No big deal. To me, it's not a big deal. You know, some people say, well, you know, why don't you try protecting them? The thing is, is, um... I've done that on some knives, like in my Anza file knife, I have that oiled, you can see in like the, you know, you can see in videos it's sort of shiny because I've kept it oiled. Some knives are easy to keep rust free, sort of like that Anza, but if it's a folder or something, like let's just say um, if I was going to oil this Voyager, if I oil the blade, you can see how much blade is exposed, you know, Whatever's exposed, the oil's going to rub off, and that's going to rust, and then what's in the handle won't come off, and it'll stay rust-free. So some of the knives I've tried to oil have, like, a nice rust line on them. So, I mean, I really don't care. It doesn't affect performance or anything, and uh, it's not a big deal to me. You know, I don't really sell my knives too often. You know, I'll try and... So, I don't know. If I had to sell them, I'd sell them at a lower price, I guess. But I mean, in ways of uh, maintaining knives, oil, like what I use, if I'm going to oil something, I'll use this Hoppy's number 9, just lubricating oil. That's what I use, just because it's handy. You can use other oils, like mineral oil is very good, it's also food safe, unlike that Hoppy's. So if you wanted to cut up food after you oil your knife, mineral oil is the way to go. You can use other products like fluid film, that's pretty good. You can use um, um, Renaissance wax. They use that in museums. That's it's more expensive, but I think it's a good product. I have yet to try it though. I've heard great things about it though. But really, I mean, um, there's a multitude of ways. I mean, and if you have rust on a knife, like what I did on my junkyard dog, that had some rust on it. I just busted out the metal polish and a rag and went to work. You know, and like maybe 30 minutes later, of polishing everything by hand it was nice and shiny again there is no more rust you know on, but then uh, it got rusty again so it's sort of like a diminishing returns I can spend 30 minutes polishing it but it'll just rust in a week anyway so what do you do right so um, really I mean if you don't have acidic hands and you live in a drier environment or even in, if you don't have acidic hands and you live in a humid environment in my opinion you don't have much to worry about you know I mean Maybe a light coat of oil or mineral oil will will do you just fine. So, and then if you have like a polished blade, or if you want to polish your blade, that'll also ward off rust because it closes the pores with steel. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the views and the requests, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.